We got to run back up to the top of the cabin. Um, yesterday we put those boards across the top of the cabin and we nailed, Tanya would use a man basket to like hold me up where I could nail all across the bottom, but I failed to remember to nail the top. So now I get to go up the long ladder climb with a hand full of nails and I will just do this though. The nails in your pocket. Ah, uh, they'll break apart. I probably only need one. I got it loaded. It probably needs that, but. All right, I put them nails up there. Put my nail gun up there. Gizmo's watching you very intently. He'd come up here if he could. Yeah, if the battery's bad, that would suck. So I didn't, I think I put a few down there, but I didn't, I couldn't reach any of these up here. So let me walk you through what we need to get done today. We got rain coming in and guys, it's just real life with what's going on. So right here you have, we have all of these big beams uh, that are sticking off. We have to cut all of these off all the way down there. And what that's gonna require, is gonna require me to make some sort of adapter, uh, like a, a, a stand on the man basket so that I can stand on the stand that's on the man basket. A little safer than just standing on the It wheels. is a little safer, it's still some sketchy stuff, but that's all, this is high. And it's the only thing we got right here that can get up that high is the man basket with the additional boards I'm gonna clamp on. And I'll probably put like one two by four sticking up so I have something to hang on to. Uh, but before we do that, we're gonna come over here and finish running the, the tape across this, uh, just in case it starts raining before it's supposed to. So let's get to this. The next time you see this, all the taping will be done. Never get complacent. Three points of contact at all times. <laughs> we're gonna get nothing done if we keep playing with you. Yep. Just gonna throw it together. It all makes sense in my head. can make this worse is if we put this all together and then put a ladder on top of this. We're not doing that. Listen, you just don't know. It might work. I think that'd be perfect. I know, but it makes the gaps not as so you have to balance that way. Me and my OCD. Yeah, your OCD. Let's clamp down good. It ain't going anywhere. It ain't going anywhere. Yep. Now that's got to... Okay, Tanya is putting the last bit of zip tape on. Got all the seams that zip taped here, and then she's putting a little bit of zip tape over every one of the big screws so that water can't go down. And this is really all for naught because we are going to put on another synthetic roof cover. So this is what we're gonna put on. It's a synthetic felt, it's supposed to be really good stuff. We're gonna be using these nails to put them down, they got a little rubber top on it. I don't know if y'all can see this or not, but I'm gonna try to zoom out there. My big hunter dog out there, he's mole hunting. He's serious about it too. Hey, you know what? Yep. One step closer. That's right. So now I'm going to 
blow, uh, I've already blew it off a lot, but I'm gonna go ahead and, and each time we make a layer of this synthetic roll, I'm gonna go down through it, blowing it off. So we're going long ways? Yes. So we're not going from the high point to the low point? Uh-uh, because you want it to overlap. Okay. So this one will go on first, and the next one go on top okay. of that one, and they overlap, that way water will always sheet off. All right, got so. it. So I was wrong, the dark black side is gonna go down and the light color with the writing is gonna go up. Okay, yep, you're right. You're wrong that you're right. You're I right was that wrong, you're wrong first, now I'm correcting myself. So I'm gonna leave some excess hanging off to go over the roof okay. and then we'll roll it down. All right, I'm gonna try to hold it. Okay, I'm gonna straighten it out. Too much. What? Too much. I thought you were holding it. No, I didn't. All right, pull it back. Okay. I'm holding it. You had one job to do. I gotta make sure I don't roll this off the side. We're just gonna slide it forward. Now here's the thing is, is I need it to hang over. Yeah. I need that edge. Mm -hmm to be right at the top of that, that word. So pick your side up, like we're gonna pull a photo tart, pull it towards you. Pull it, hey, pull it tight towards I you. I am pulling it tight. All right, ready? Yeah. And just, all right, so I got it over. Let me get my nails and my hammer. Please, Lord, don't give us a second where we don't have a breeze. <laughs> You need one of those nail guns that one person had with those things. That was yeah, cool. that one nail gun would have been awesome. I need to pull that a little tighter at the top. As far as it goes. To pull it. I did. Your leg's on it. I know, but just, just to hold it. All right. I hope you got enough nails. We know, we know, where, they, we know where they come from. All right, go ahead. I'm gonna go sit in the middle so it won't blow. So when you put the other one on there, you're gonna go with the little ones? Mm -hmm. So you don't overlap the nails? Um. Because if you're gonna use the same X's, you're gonna hammer on the thing. So if you leave, go on the small ones. Well, I mean, the odds of those nails being in line. But what I'm talking about, like, you know, when you put the layer over it, go with the other X in between. That's actually pretty smart. So you t I'm gonna go ahead and put like three or four down through there. Uh -huh. And then we'll, we'll, let, we'll blow it off and use the next layer. Yeah. We don't know what we're doing. Well, I guess having all these on this corner down here ain't a bad idea. Uh -uh. So I'll put some down here. You just love manual labor, don't you? I love it. Yeah, we're gonna, yeah, good call what you said. So we'll blow this off and then put the next next roll. That way we're not wasting all those nails. Okay, we're taking turns with this. There's Tanya here. She's nailing nails in every other X. And then we're gonna go down through the center. The bottom two are, are done. You overlap them and then put a uh, the where they overlap. That's where you put your extra extra nails. I make a gun for this. It'd be so much faster. But you know, this is the only time we're going to do this. It's starting to look like something. Tanya is nailing the last bit of it up, and I think we're going to run out. We're going to go back and get another roll at it. I misjudged how much overlap. Maybe we got some roll left. We'll see. I made a mistake in calculating my underlayment for the roof. So we had to run back to town and grab something to eat. And also we just, we got what we could get real quick. Uh, so we went to the local box store and got the best underlayment they have. It's supposed to be equivalent to what we put down already, 
So I'll show you what I got. We got GAF Felt Buster Synthetic Roofing Felt. It feels just basically like the other one. And let me show you what else we got going on. The earlier, about a couple days ago, it said we were gonna have like a shower, no big deal. Now we're calling for tornado watches and tornado, possible tornadoes, high winds, heavy rain. So we gotta get this knocked out. So I said a little prayer and asked God to let us get this done first before, you know, the rain comes in here. So hopefully my prayer will be answered. <laughs> Four o'clock p.m. Yep. Are you puckered up yet? Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 <you're> getting up. <laughs> Next, uh, one back, roll back one. Okay, roll, roll, roll. Now we need some, some music here with you rolling around. I don't know the, the wasp think that thing is a uh, it's mate or something. Mm, it's going after you. Yeah, they keep climbing here. They hear it buzzing. Or it's an enemy. I come up with an idea. Oh, Lord. We get that one half done, fold it over, cut the pieces off. All we have to do is fold it back over, go around the corner. Well, all we need to do is get it to fold down. I know, this. that's what I'm saying. Just go ahead right. and get the top piece here done, right? So we don't have to come back up here. No, I got and, it. I, yeah, and then just slip it over. I, I, yeah. No, because what we're going to do is it just needs to be over about six inches. I know, but I'm saying just fold it over, and then when you're down there cutting it off, you no, can... No. I still got to build the box. Oh. So I'm going to take a piece of wood and go right here. Okay. And go over the end of that. Okay. So then we're gonna have to do another piece of that. Okay. Over all of it. All gotcha. Right. So, so. I was just thinking for the rain protection right now. Well, that's what I am too. So all I'm worried about is getting it wrapped around. Okay. You're posing. Am I? I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm dying. Let's <laughs> get down here, get that last one. Be careful, buddy. you're right there too. Okay. So if you had a whole crew doing this, it could be done in a couple hours. Oh, uh, putting this stuff up? Yeah. 15, 20 minutes. Well, if you have a crew. Yeah, if you have if a husband and wife, it takes a whole day. Yeah, and you should be But the point is, you can do it yourself. Yeah, we can. I mean, if you decide to do this yourself, you can do it. Absolutely. But a crew, Definitely I mean, would make it much easier and <laughs> much quicker. Or the, the premise behind this cabin is it come in on a trailer. Uh, you can take it out to your cabin build site in pieces like four by eight sheets. I think the longest one of those 12 feet long by four feet. And so it might take you a while, but you yes. can put this cabin anywhere. Even if you like we couldn't get a big when we no. first started here, we couldn't get the, no. the truck. Here. It there took us no a way. lot of clearing and cutting a roll back in here just to be able to get here. So yeah, but this is just showing that you can we, do this. Yeah, this is made. This is somebody could put a cabin like this in the wood. This is a substantial yeah. cabin. I took this hammer stapler and went through, and I stapled all of this down, pretty pretty good. And, and now Tanya's coming back and putting the last of the actual proper nails, and I think this is going to hold better. But we were getting some wind, and this was trying to blow off like while we were, you know, putting it down. So. I only put a, you know, not too bad, maybe <laughs> a thousand or so staples. I think more than that. I think we should put a deck on our roof. Let me show you the the eventual view. Can't see it now, all this junky trees that have been pushed over, blowed over, whatever. There could be a lake down here at some point. Perfect place to build a big pond or a lake.
Guys, I appreciate you watching our channel. Listen, this has been fun. Uh, we'll be putting metal on soon. God bless, have a great day.